Joe Adamy remembers seeing well over a dozen sled dog teams in Resolute Bay when he was a little boy back in 1953. We moved here when, we were, when I was 12 years, two years old. And we lived in the old village down there. And there used to be maybe about 15 dog teams out in front of our community. And there were about 10 to 15 dogs per dog team. And so I remember them quite well. They used to make lots of noise. Between 1950 and 1970, RCMP across the Arctic slaughtered thousands of Kimit or Inuit sled dogs to keep families in one place as part of an effort to assimilate Inuit into Canadian society. The killing of the dogs led to a disruption to the Inuit way of life, contributing to government dependence, subjecting Inuit to residential schools and other government policies. That is, it was devastating to the whole community when RCMP started shooting all the dogs, eh? Yeah. That basically wiped the uh, spirit out of the community and we became welfare people, I guess. While he was little at the time, he remembers the impact it had on people. They raised a dog team right from little to adulthood and they taught them how to be part of a team and stuff like that. After you do that, you're part of them, eh? You basically treat them like family. According to the Kikiktani Truth Commission, many Inuit were not told why their dogs were killed. After they wiped out a whole, she must have been about 60, 70 dogs they wiped out. And after that, they were, the community really struggled to survive. The dog teams were the only way to go hunting. Eh? For RCMP members today, the dog cull is still a sensitive issue. If a dog needs to be put down, they would rather have an onok do it. The dogs too is another one, yeah. Um, very, very mindful when it comes to animals, what we, what we can do, and mm -hmm. we take all that stuff into, con into consideration. Mm -hmm. Today's younger generation is trying to bring the dogs back from the brink of extinction to restore the kimit. Yeah, uh, so I started when I was 16 years old, so that would have been 2017. Yeah. Uh, I started off with one dog, and we used to head out. Uh, just me and him, my mom bought me a little kick sled, and I used to tell him to run home, and he'd pull me home on his kick sled. At 22, he now has a team of 14 dogs and five puppies. He is helping others start their own teams. Every, he says he's happy uh, to be helping so bring back this tradition. The dog sledding culture up here, you know, is almost completely gone almost replaced by snowmobiles entirely. Um, but then being able to run the dogs and help other people's grow and uh, it's just been really awesome because I like the dogs myself and you know I have fun running them and hunting with them especially. Um, and it's just been really, really awesome to be a part of that. Help. Trevor Wright, APTN National News, Resolute Bay, Nunavut.